So I've been doing a morning basket for almost nine years now. And when I started it, I didn't even call it a morning basket. We called it family devotions and I did it in the evening and I pinned it to bedtime routine. Now at the time, my husband did not have a consistent work schedule and was not always home at bedtime. But for what, because we had little ones and I was gone in the morning on play dates and whatever else in the morning, I found that this was a really good time of day for me to start this habit. It was really important to both me and my husband, but we needed to pin it to something when we knew I would be home. Don't forget to like this video and please consider subscribing to my channel. I do videos about Charlotte Mason homeschooling, family life, and nature study. So when we got started with what I'm calling our morning basket, but what we called at the time our family devotion. And it all started when my daughter was about two and a half years old, our oldest child. And when she was able to first start talking. So I felt like that was a really good time to get started with devotions and um, because then she could also work on memory work. We would start by reading the Jesus Storybook Bible. And this Bible has really vivid pictures and it is a retelling of the entire story arc of the Bible from creation to kind of, it does Jesus's um, birth and resurrection, but it also talks about the early church at the end. So I just really felt like this was good and you can actually get through it in about a month, a month and a half if you read it every day. So it's a really great place to start establishing the habit. And then we moved on to this Catherine Voss story Bible. This is a little bit more difficult language. It's not that much more difficult, but it has more stories in it. And this was a nice kind of transition. We didn't start, we probably took us I would say five or six years of just reading story Bibles before we moved into the main, like ESV or, you know, just a straight reading from the Bible. And so then we moved into our memory work. We just start with scripture memory and we actually use the truth or grace memory books uh, just to get us started because it starts with like in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Like that's the first one that you're memorizing. Start with scripture, start with one verse. Easy enough. So I almost forgot prayer. <laughs> we do prayer at the end before we sing um, the doxology. And our prayer time has kind of evolved over the years. I really struggled with how to get my kids to pray for things other than more toys. So what I found was the most effective was, y'all, let's start with the Lord's Prayer and teaching them to pray. So um, since our Lord taught the disciples to pray, maybe it would be a good practice to teach our children how to pray. And so the other thing that we would do is we would pray the act which is A-C-T-S, it's an acronym, adoration. So that means that we go around and just say, okay, what do we adore about God? What, what is he, what good qualities can we just adore? And I might start off with something like, he is great. He is big, bigger than all of us, he knows everything and somebody else, you know, anyway, so we're trying to just wet, get their wheels turning um, so that we start talking about adoration. And then we move into the C, which is confession. So the confession time, again, needs to be taught. This is something that we're teaching our children how to do. Guys, I haven't even, I've, I've only like begun to start learning how to confess my sins and how to even know what to confess. So a great way to do this would be to read other confessions from 
you know, just great books such as The Valley of Vision has beautiful ones. And um, the Anglican Church actually has some good, like, confessions that you can read through. Even though we're not Anglican, they still just have some really good tools for that. And then you move into Thanksgiving. Um, these are things that we're thankful for. We're thankful for a house. We're thankful for the weather. We're thankful that we're together. We're thankful for our health. So again, like teaching our kids to think about all these different ways that we can talk to our Lord. And then at the very end, we have this opportunity to um, do a supplication is what the F is. So this is when we are asking God for things, we're asking him to help us. Maybe that's an appropriate time to pray for that toy or pray for a friend who's ill or um, pray for daddy's work or pray for, um, you know, mommy's friend who's hurting or, you know, we kind of do these different things. So I will do another video later about exactly how we do our prayer time now because I'm a lot more structured. But when you're just starting off, the act prayers are just such a great place to start and um, then closing it up with the doxology. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or how you're doing your family devotions and if you also kind of call it morning time right now or morning basket or what you call it but it kind of all is the same idea that we're teaching our children we're passing on our faith um, be encouraged see you next time